The reason why 98% of YouTube videos don't get any views is because they don't implement the 10 key elements that go into making a viral video. Seriously, there's 10 elements and they're all right here. Oh, you can't see these? Um, you know what, this actually happened to me too, but once you understand them, then they all appear and it's magic. And it turns out it's really easy to start implementing these into your YouTube videos. To actually start getting views on YouTube, yes, you need a great video, yes, you need a great thumbnail and title, but there's something that comes before that that a lot of YouTubers overlook. And that's the big idea. Now instantly I think of this Hollywood trick that I learned from Save the Cat. This is actually a book on screenwriting for movies. But I learned something in this book that seriously shifted my mind when it came to how I think about YouTube videos. In the book, the author talks about how screenwriters are competing against a bunch of other scripts out there in the world. Kind of like YouTubers competing with a bunch of other videos out there on YouTube. And he said that these producers don't have time to go through and read all of these scripts that people send to them. Kind of like on YouTube, you just don't have time to watch all of the videos, so you have to choose one. So how do these producers actually choose what script they're going to read? Well, honestly, it's kind of simple. They just ask the writer, they say, what is it about? Now the answer that they give to that question is the log line of their movie. It's maybe one or two sentences explaining the movie and what it's about. Now, if those one or two sentences can't intrigue the person into reading their script, they don't even read it at all. And just like on YouTube, if I were to ask you, what is your YouTube video about? If you can't explain it in one to two sentences or it's just not interesting when you explain it, then it's probably not even worth making. And that's what he talks about in this book. If your log line is not interesting enough, it's not even worth writing the script. So let's break down these 10 key elements. As an example, let's just say we have a dental hygiene YouTube channel. And let's say we wanna review the Burst Sonic toothbrush. Seems just like a normal video idea. It doesn't really have this big idea element to it. So we make the video best toothbrush under $100 burst sonic toothbrush review. And now what I'm going to do is take some of the key elements and implement that into this video to make it a big idea. So option number two would be Kim Kardashian uses this toothbrush burst sonic toothbrush review. Both are the same video, but one has a slight twist to it. One is using an authority in its title and video idea. Now that's just one of the 10 key elements that you can implement into your videos to go viral. Actually, there's another element found in this idea, but we'll get to that. So to actually get views on YouTube, there has to be demand for your video. There has to be people who are actually interested in what your video is about. Here's a great example. Look at option one. We have the Sony a7C full review. It's over a year old and has 37,000 views. Now look at option two, the perfect 4K vlog camera for YouTube videos in 2022. It's a month old and it has 74 thousand views. It's the same camera, a very similar video, but completely repackaged. On option one, you only click on it if you know what the Sony a7C is and if you're interested in that camera. Whereas on option two, you click on it if you want to know the perfect vlog camera for YouTube. There's clearly more demand for vlog camera versus Sony a7C, a very specific camera. You also really need to understand that different topics in your niche are simply just going to have more search traffic. So check out this example. Option one, we have keyboard shortcuts for Final Cut Pro 2,500 searches per month. Option two, we have Final Cut Pro tutorial for beginners, which is 7,768 views per month, which is three times more in search traffic. So one of the reasons that your videos are not getting any views is because there's not a lot of search behind that topic. Now, no matter how small or niche down your channel is, you can still implement this big idea theory to your videos. First off, just ask yourself, what are the main desires that people have for in my niche? Niche. Niche, niche, I, I don't know. Also ask your question, what are the main problems that people in my niche are facing? Those common problems and common desires in your niche are going to be your big ideas. Now look, big ideas for Mr. Beast are going to be different than the big ideas that we have at Think Media and the big ideas that you have for your channel. Some of our big idea topics are gonna be best camera for YouTube or how to grow on YouTube because those are topics that are applicable to the mass majority of our audience. Now you can't just make every single video covering those most searched topics. So what you need to do is find other ideas and topics that have these key elements and implement them into your video. And when you start to incorporate these, you're gonna bring so much demand and interest to your YouTube videos and it's gonna get you massive views. So let's get right into the rest of these elements that you should implement into your video's idea and then practically these are gonna show up in your title and thumbnail as well, which is gonna help you get the click. Now Jake Thomas on Twitter actually recorded 200 plus videos videos into this database and to make 
make it into this database, a video has to have at least three times the average views for its channel. Now these elements are gonna be ranked from least to most commonly found in these viral YouTube videos. Now I definitely recommend following Jake's Twitter account because you just get these amazing YouTube knowledge bombs and I just love his account. Another awesome resource that I found for coming up with these big idea topics is creatorhooks.com. Seriously, every single week I look forward to getting his email because he sends you five video ideas that are like these big ideas that could do really well for your channel. So for me, it's been a great way to come up with new ideas for this channel. Number 10 is to refute an objection. Now in his database, he found that 5% of the videos refute an objection. An example of this would be how to make money with YouTube shorts without making videos. Now I'm gonna fly through all of these, but I want you to start thinking, how can I implement these ideas into my own niche? Write them down, do whatever you gotta do, and you're gonna come up with tons of ideas by the end of this. Number nine is epic or extreme, and he found that 6% of the videos had this element. An example would be, I made a giant 30 pound Kit Kat. Something extreme that we could do at Think Media is I made a 24 hour long YouTube video. I don't know if people would watch that. Let me know in the comments, would you actually watch a 24 hour long YouTube video from Think Media? We might, we might have to do that. I hope not though. Number eight is beginner tips. 8% of the videos are specifically for beginners and we do this a lot at Think Media. The example he gives is how to get your first push up beginner calisthenics and motivation. Don't overlook the beginner content because there's a lot of people trying to get started. Number seven is time frame. 9% of the videos include a time frame. For example, 10,000 followers in 10 days, my new strategy. Now it's even better if the time frame is going to be epic or extreme. For example, 10,000 followers in 10 days, that is an epic extreme element as well. So it's kind of two different elements combined into one video. Number six is deep desire. Now 14% of the videos included this deep desire element. An example is how to change your life in three weeks by 2022. Number five is authority, which 17% of the videos included this. And that's exactly the Kim Kardashian example that I gave you guys. Now it doesn't have to be just a celebrity. It can be a well-known brand, a location that's well-known, whatever it is, as long as it has some sort of authority, you can use this in your video to draw in more views and more interest. His example is how US military linguists learn languages fast. Number four is timelines. And 20% of these videos are timely, also known as newsjacking or trade. Friend jacking. An example in October would be 20 Halloween candies you should never eat. Number three is a list, and this element was in 28% of the videos. An example is the seven best purchases to make in your 20s. Now, another hack is to tie this in with things that are highly searched. So not only did we have the list, but we tied in the beginner element as well. And also a little secret here is that a lot of these videos are using more than one element. So stay tuned for the end where there's some like crazy stuff on exactly how many elements you should incorporate into your YouTube videos. Number two is negativity. And sadly, 39% of these videos used negativity in their idea. An example would be three reasons you should not buy a Tesla. I'm not necessarily saying you should do this, but I am saying that it works. And the most common element found in these videos was actually found in 56% of all of these videos. And this was actually another element in that Kim Kardashian example. So pause the video and comment if you can guess what this number one element is. Without further ado, the number one element is curiosity. An example would be why Alton Brown is warning people about San Marzano tomatoes. Now I bet you if you open up YouTube and you go on the homepage, you're gonna find a few videos that are implementing this this curiosity factor. So how many of these elements should you actually use in your video? Is one enough, maybe two or three? Well, on average videos have 2.2 of the elements above and 50% of all the videos have a number in them. So if you wanna go viral, I definitely recommend studying these elements and using two or three of them in your idea, title, and thumbnail. But there's still a chance that you could use these elements and still get zero views. And I see this all the time and it's because people don't know how to actually start their YouTube videos. They can get people to click on their video, but they're making tons of mistakes in those first 30 seconds that you do not want to make. Because when you make those mistakes, people end up leaving your video and then the YouTube algorithm doesn't want to share your video to more people. So what you need to do is start your videos off the right way to hook in the audience. And you can watch this video. I explain exactly how to do it. Thanks for checking this out. I'll see you guys in the next video.